Hello, today I'm Ruth Barlow and I'm with Singer and we're going to be doing a lesson on the new Singer Futura XL400 machine, which is a computer generated embroidery machine and that's where we're going to start using the auto punch so we can have some fun creating a design from an image. And we go in under, we open the program, go in under create and we select auto punch. We move on and we select the source for our image and this time we're going to choose a flower with some attitude. And this allows us to crop the image to a size that's more suitable to use. We can resize it because right now we're looking at over 8 inches. We want to sew it fairly quickly so today we'll resize and it appropriately resizes for both length and width then. We can look at the colors that are suggested and if you do a quick count you'll notice that there's always one extra because the background is included in that you can see the image. The color choice is adequate, we'll carry on. This determines the width of the satin stitch and we're going to turn it down just a little bit. The accepted is about nine and that width means that it doesn't snag too easily and it doesn't get too broad so we'll try it down a little bit. We're now assigning stitches to the color blocks and at this point if we had any portions of the design that were enclosed and looked like background we would delete those so that we wouldn't have sudden little filled in O's. We can preview We'll go on to the next screen and now we can look to see what our stitch fills are. As we click on then we'll see that this is a column so it would be satin stitch. Let's clear a preview for the moment. Column is satin stitch for all of these. And now for the center of the flower it's also a satin but this time let's change it so we have a slightly different fill and let's turn it into a fill stitch and at this point if we wished we could usually make changes for density and all that sort of thing too but it's kind of nice to check it out first and see what it looks like before we go back and do the actual editing that's involved with the program. Here the leaves and what have you are in stitch fill uh, a stitch fill which is a step satin so let's continue with that and we're going to use a jump stitch for connecting between colors and that way we don't have so many uh, little stitches to clip. Click finish, let's see our design. We can go up and view it in realistic view. Let's blow it up and have a closer look. And now we don't want black, I don't outline in black. So let's go to our stitch colors. Let's click on the black. Let's go over and select another green. We can choose our color later to lighten it up a little. And now we go to File, Transmit to Futura Machine, and we'll send the design. Our color block list at the bottom shows the colors are stitched. Our machine is lit up to show that we have four colors we'll select. And the first color is threaded, so we'll push the Go button. Stop briefly to cut our tail. And the machine will continue to stitch until the color is complete, at which time it will stop and let us to continue on. Auto punch is one of the options for the program, and there are four others as well. There are cross stitch, editing, hyperfont, and photo stitch. So we have samples of each of them here. And these just add some more fun for creativity with the program. As the color is complete, we can stop. Whoops. As we had entered the design, we'll just stop, trim the color. And the very easy threading system on this machine allows us to put the color on, thread the needle all in one simple operation, and we're good to go with the next one. There we go. Lower the foot.
And our next color is up, and this will continue the same way. And we stitch, change colors easily for each operation. Once the project is completed, we'll show you it. Here's another simple design that came from the library designs that was stitched out and just shows an example of incorporating it with the sewing features of the machine too, so we have a completed sewing project as well. Color number two is completed. Clip our threads. And as we progress, each of the color stitches, each of the lights deletes to um, let us know that we're ready for the next one. We can click on the block to see what's stitching, but we don't have to send it. It's already been sent. Stitch the leaves and the final color will be the outline. So a simple selection of an image. We added stitches to it. We can edit them. We can stitch them out. We have a finished project. So if you have some drawings, as long as you scan them in uh, at a good dot per inch profile, you can very easily assign stitches to them. So it's fun and creativity with the Singer Futura XL400.